Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get the Romance Angel cards. Oh, that one's in the wrong pile. Romance Angel cards for an overall energy. The Angel Answers cards for an overall energy, and then we'll get the... Um, Animal Oracle and look at what you may possibly be struggling at with the relationship, what you need to look at, and possible future energies. All right. Capricorn love. I feel like those two. All right. And then Angel Answers. Angel Answers for Capricorn love reading for self or with someone else. All right, so we have a yes. We have a yes for angel answers. And then for romance angels, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It doesn't necessarily have to be your parents, but I feel like it could be that healing some issues. It doesn't necessarily have to be family, but it could also represent healing some issues that you're having that that... Um, benefits your love life and then we have wedding look at that this situation involves marriage it could involve marriage but I also feel that it could just represent a stronger commitment within a relationship but I feel like healing there's some sort of healing that has to happen first all right Capricorn love whoa that went flying we have struggling with rabbit spirit now is a lucky time so feeling you know sometimes we have those times where we feel like we're not lucky where we feel like everything's kind of coming down on us what does capricorn need to look at white raven spirit trusting in the magic sometimes life takes detours and we have to trust that it's for a reason and then we have snake spirit time to heal okay again healing family issues that that has to heal, that there could be, sometimes when we have things, you know, kind of those mental open wounds, or we have things that have happened with other people, friends, family members, you know, when we have those, those that we're, we're thinking about, that that affects our current relationships, and that our mind is always going back to that, and sometimes we may have disagreements with our current partner, or, or our current friends, or something but it really has nothing to do with them. It has to do with this healing of this other issue that needs to be taken care of and that we don't realize that we're kind of projecting that onto the person that's around us. You know, as they say, you always take things out the hardest on the people that you're closest to. Um, even though, like, you know, it's, that person may not have anything to do with it, but it's like we have to recognize that if there's something that he's, has to be healed that or if there's something that has to be looked at, that that needs to be addressed, that that needs to be looked at because it can affect us in other parts of our life. And we, we don't want to create more problems. We want to move on from those, right? That we want less problems. All right, so let's get some tarot, dive a little deeper. So what's going on with Capricorn, love life? Um, who needs to hear a message? struggling with what else are they struggling with okay a relationship definitely has to do with a relationship a connection seeing eye to eye feeling like it's a partnership you know feeling like you're you're struggling with the two of cups struggling with the princess of wands of taking actions to rectify something struggling with taking the initial first steps to change things i feel like this is maybe a feeling you know, healing this family issue, that this is something that has been going on for a while, that you're struggling with, how do I take care of this? How do I get past this, right? What do I do? Um, you're closing down, okay? Are you shutting down? And that's what I was saying is, what do you need to look at? And we have four of pentacles. To me, I feel the four of pentacles represents things that you can do for yourself, things that you're doing for yourself, because this is kind of like closing within, but also Four of Pentacles can represent that you're you're backing away, that you're closing down, that you're shutting down, that you're, 
you know, you're, you're really not dealing with things that you're feeling closed off in a situation. So that could go either way. Um, we have also the Four of Cups that you're not interested. Again, I feel like that goes back with the Four of Pentacles is that you're not interested. You know, he's not interested. He's not hey, kind of sad, feeling like I give up. You know, I can't deal with this. I've got so much going on. But then this opportunity comes in with this, this, you know, the opportunity with the Ace of Cups or the, the cup that's coming in is looking up towards the opportunities. Sometimes opportunities are right around the corner, but you don't even realize it because you're so involved in what's right in front of you that you have blinders on that you're not seeing, seeing what's around you. And that's what I was saying is that sometimes you may not even realize that this has to be dealt with because it's affecting you in different areas of your life and once you recognize that then you're like wow you know what that really was affecting different areas of my life and I really needed to look at that and I really needed to address that 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 had kind of gone on for a while I was having trouble taking those initial steps you know making things you know confronting things but once I've done that you know I feel so much better Queen of Wands is, I feel like when I said once I've done that, I feel like that Queen of Wands represents it because she's somebody who does things. She's, she's someone who gets things accomplished. She faces things head on. She takes those actions to get past it. I mean, look at that face on there. That's a, that's a d determined face, right? She's like, I'm going to handle this situation like I've had enough. And also realizing that, you know, time to heal. It could have to do, you know, maybe the situation has to do with somebody who is overbearing, somebody who's controlling, you know, maybe that's what she's representing. That could represent for you taking control of the situation that I'm not going to deal with this anymore. Or it could represent somebody that is overbearing and controlling in your life where you have to heal this issue here, right? Time to heal. Look at that tower. I feel like the tower card represents time to heal. It's, it's out with the old and in with the new. It's tearing something down. Something was built on a false foundation. Something was shaky. You know, there was some, maybe some surprises come in, right? Maybe there's, there's, you surprise this person that you talk to this person, or maybe you break up with this person, or you walk away from the person, or you, you know, you make some big choices here, but you know that something, this tower moment has to happen to start new and to start fresh because the way things were going, I feel like it was starting to make you shut down. And I feel like that's something that you have to look at. Like, are, are you starting to shut down? Are you starting to back away? Are you starting to close other people off? You know, it's like, oh, we don't want to hang out anymore. We don't want to talk anymore. You know, like we just want to close ourselves off. But in order for you to heal, you have to take those steps to address those things that may be tough and then rebuild, right? I feel like this energy here, the Eight of Swords can be that you are holding yourself back from something. So this could be twofold here is that over here, I feel you're holding yourself back from something, from addressing something. But it's also over here in this future energy. It's like now I feel like, you know, it's time for me to heal. It's time for me to face things. It's time for me to deal with things that this has gone on long enough. You see the opportunity that has come in for you to take this opportunity and for you to handle this situation that you feel inside that the time is right for you to handle this. And that's when you have to deal with this, these types of situations is you have to do it when you feel that you are ready to do it. Don't force it. Don't push it. Don't make yourself do something, you know, if you feel that you're not ready because you're not going to, you know, reap the benefits of actually taking care of the situation. If you feel that you're not ready or you don't want to do something right, maybe, it's something that someone wants you to do and you're like, no, I'm not ready to move, right? Or I'm not ready to, to move on from a job or I'm not ready to move locations or I'm not ready for a, you know, a more of a commitment in a relationship. I don't know, whatever those things that represent for you, but I feel like you have to do these things when you feel ready, right? When you have that feeling inside, that inner feeling that you feel ready to take actions for this tower moment and you know that this is a rebuilding for yourself. And trusting in the magic that this is for you to grow and for you for you to heal. Bottom of the deck, we have Six of Cups. Um, that can represent somebody from your past is coming in to your life. But I also feel like it's feeling lighter, feeling happier. Um, fun times, lighter times, right? Brighter times. 
um, a brighter energy, feeling happier, feeling like you've lifted the weight of the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups off of your shoulders and that you've let that go and you are rebuilding yourself and this relationship stronger. All right, so let's get some more cards. Sometimes we don't realize that those little things that we do or those things that we take care of can really make a big difference in our lives. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it's kind of that friendship, right? The friendship becomes stronger and bigger and better or it's that grounding energy, the connection, right? Four of Wands, that partnership becomes better. It could have to do with work, family member, whatever that represents for you, but that becomes stronger, right? That connection is coming back. Um, you're letting go of something. Sometimes we like to hold on to things, you know, um, but we have to heal. We have to heal from these issues um, and that we have to learn how, what, what is it that I'm holding on to? What is it that I have to let go of? And when I let it go, I want to completely let it go, right? I don't want it still lingering. What is it that I need possibly from this other person in order for me to feel like I can let things go? Six of Pentacles, sharing and communication. Communication is extremely important in any type of relationship, is to communicate. Um, King of Pentacles, somebody who is patient, somebody who is determined, somebody who is focused, somebody who takes his time to figure out what the best course of action is in order to get the highest results because the King of Pentacles is somebody who is good in business. So those are the things that, you know, you have to weigh out the each side, right? Um, the consequences of doing this, the consequences of doing that, the consequences of not doing anything, right? Kind of weighing all of those things out, but being patient and taking your time. And like I said, over here, doing it when you feel you're ready to do it. Sometimes we just if we start the process of realizing, okay, I'm starting to turn around, I'm starting to look at this cup, I'm starting to come out of my shell, I know that I need to do this, and we start taking those actions to make those changes, it's almost like it becomes easier and it starts to flow and things start happening, right? That this Eight of Wands is going right towards this tower here. It's like sometimes taking the initial first step to healing, healing, is the hardest step and once we start doing it we're like oh, okay this this feels better right this feels better coming into your own power coming into your own energy because we have the capricorn here releasing the toxic energy right because we have the tower and the devil card so could it just be your own thinking like what is your subconscious saying right is it is it saying negative things is it saying that you can't do things or you're not going to accomplish things or things aren't going to happen you know what is that playing in your mind and do you need to be more aware of it? And you do, do you need to stop that? Are you self-sabotaging things? Is it, Or is it a toxic relationship? Like what is it? What is it that has to be healed and then coming into your own strength and your own power, looking within to find those answers? I always like this hermit card here because it has that snake that's on this narrow path and he's lighting that the light on it to see which direction do I go in, right? Where do I go from here? I know that I can get past this. I believe in myself. I know I will get past this. I will get past this. I'm not sure how, when, how, or why, you know, like how. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place today. <laughs> I'm not sure how it's going to happen. Sometimes we say that. Sometimes we know the plan. Sometimes we don't. But you believe in yourself and say, yes, I'm going to be in this Three of Cups energy and I'm going to be happy and I'm going to celebrate, right? And I'm going to find the ways to make it happen that I'm not going to leave that up to anyone else, that I am going to be in my own power and that yes, I can do it, right? Yes, with an exclamation mark because um, there's another yes card, but it has no exclamation mark. But I feel like that yes kind of puts that stamp on it is that I want to work on this relationship. I want to get past this, 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 this feeling of this four of pentacles and the four of cups. I want to get past that and I want to get the magic back and I want to rebuild, right? Not only for myself, but for this partnership, if that's what you want to do. Looking towards the future, I almost feel like the future seems brighter now because you've starting, you're taking the time to heal, that you're working on yourself, you're listening to your inner voice, you're figuring out the problems on your own, right? 
How do I get myself on a happier path? What does that mean to me? What are those things that I have to do to reach that and to get there? All right, so let's close out with a Whispers of Healing. I do that all the time where I ask myself questions. I'm like, if I want to do something, like before I bought my horse, I'm like, okay, so what does that look like to me? Right? So what does that mean in my daily routine? What does that mean as to how many times can I get out there? What does that mean to me financially? What does that mean when I'm spending time out there? Is it going to be an hour? Is it going to be a long, like, how is this going to affect my life? Right? And that could be here is kind of taking that time to heal is that looking at, okay, how is this going to affect me? How is this not going to affect me? How is my daily life going to look? You know, how is this going to change things? And just kind of asking yourself those questions as if, you know, it's kind of a friend to friend, but you're asking yourself um, those questions. We have kindness, right? That's really cute. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Um, kindness. Soft heart, right? Softening up that heart. Um, sometimes doing things for others helps us. Um, sometimes it's that kindness that we have to treat ourselves with, right? That we have to be kind to ourselves. Do we realize that we're closing things off and we're shutting things down? Do we realize that we're giving up hope? And being kind to ourselves and saying, okay, how can I fix this? How can I change this? Right? How, how can I turn this around? What are those solutions? What are those things that I can do? Is this a relationship that I want to work on? Is this a relationship that I want to move forward with? You know, asking yourself these questions. Is this something that I want to work on? All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.